Hello and welcome back to the channel. This word comes from Dan McCollum, Round Rock, Texas. The gift of seeing through dreams. Have you ever received a message from God through a dream? It makes sense that God would speak to us at night when our analytical, skeptical self is less in control. While your body is resting, your mind and spirit are free and very much awake and free to go to places that your logic would not follow. You spend about a third of your life sleeping. Scientists estimate that out of all of the time we spend sleeping each day, the average person will dream about two hours. Not expecting God to communicate through your dreams can shut off years of your ability to hear from him in this vital way. Of course, like other forms of seeing, not everything you see in a dream is necessarily a message from God or something that needs to be examined and interpreted. However, dreams are a major method of spiritual seeing. There are 21 recorded dreams in the Bible. The list of those who acted on directions received in the night dreams. This includes kings, government leaders, church leaders, and ordinary people like Joseph, the earthly father of Jesus. Let's look at some of the directions Joseph received in dreams. When they, the Magi, had gone, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night, and left for Egypt. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. Acts 2, 13 and 14, and 19 through 20. We could say that acting on God dreams saved Jesus' life and it fulfilled scriptural predictions. With evidence like this, we can't afford to look at dreams as a lesser way of God revealing himself. Still, we know that the enemy of our souls also tries to storm and steal in the dream realm. Though through night terrors and bad dreams can certainly be triggered by physical things, they are also part of the spiritual enemy's plot to shut down the sweet communication that can happen in the night watches between you and the Lord. There is much to learn on this subject, but my purpose in this very short communication is to invite you to sanctify your dream life to the Lord. Thank Him for the gift of seeing through dreams. Place a value on the voice of God speaking through the night watch. Whether waking or sleeping, you are hardwired to see God and to be lovingly directed by what He reveals. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, what an encouragement from our brother Dan. Lord, we ask you, Holy Spirit, right now, open the eyes of our understanding. Open our hearts. Lord, that we would hear from you, that we would see you, that, Lord, you would communicate to us through dreams. Help us, Lord, by your power to divinely interpret those dreams. Lord, that we would know when to act, when we need to to flee to Egypt and when we should return. We thank you for the mighty example in Scripture. And Lord, we ask to hear from you in a new way through a dream. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.